everybody. Today we worked on one step problems in the real world and what we're doing is we're using our knowledge of angles and angle measurements to help solve some algebraic equations. So for the example I'm going to show you today, it says write an equation and solve for the missing angle in each question. Alejandro is repairing a stained glass window. He needs to take it apart to repair it. Before taking it apart, he makes a sketch with, with angle measures to put it back together. Write an equation and use it to determine the measure of the unknown angle. So we have to know that right now these three angles together form a 180 degree line, a straight line or a straight angle. So we know that this angle equals 180 degrees. So we can use what we know in math to say 40 plus x plus 30 equals 180. So I'm just going to write that in an algebraic sentence. 40 plus x plus 30 degrees equals our total of 180 degrees. So let's take our the constants that we can put together like terms and now we have 70 plus x equals 180 and hopefully we can look at this and realize, well, in order to make that statement true, x has to be equal to 110 degrees. It's an obtuse angle. That makes sense. But if I want to take it one step further and show how I solve that for x, I'd want to get this x all by itself on this side of the equation. So to do that, I would have to subtract 70, and that cancels out. So 0 plus x is just x, that identity property of 0 leaves that all by itself, but I can't do something to one side of the equation without doing the same thing to the opposite side to keep that equation balanced. So 180 minus 70, there's my proof that my missing angle is 110 degrees. So 40 degrees plus 110 degrees is our variable for the x, plus 30 degrees equals my total of 180 degrees. So it all checks out. And uh, hopefully that will help you in your practice.